guys. Um, this is going to have to be a quick video because I just shot a 20 minute epic um, without turning the the mic on. Uh, so now we're trying to beat a dying battery on the camera. Um, it's a couple of days after Christmas. It's pretty late at night. The little lady's asleep. Her mom's asleep. Um, I will be very soon as well. I've got the sort of the tired eyes. Um, I'm going to try not to give you the blinky blinky but I'm pretty tired. Um, I just really wanted to to get something out to say Happy New Year to all you guys. Um, my subscribers have been great. All the guys who've liked me have been great. The one person who's disliked one of my videos, that's great too because that's an opinion and I would rather someone give me any kind of feedback. If someone cares enough about what I did to give me a dislike, that's almost as good as a like. You know, instead of just watching and just forgetting about what they saw. So even that person, thanks for caring enough to, to you know, hit a button. Um, I, also, all the people I've watched and taken, um, I guess, inspiration from. You know, Happy New Year to those guys. Thanks for being there for me to learn from. Um, for 2014, it's... You know, one of the videos I've tried to shoot, I've done a lot of shooting this year, and almost none of it's made it to YouTube because either, okay, the focus has been all soft, or the sound has been crap, or okay, that was a dumb idea. Um, because I do this as a one-man show, I don't always know what the result is going to be until after I've unplugged everything and plugged into my computer. Uh, that, that's part of the reason I'm doing this. Um, I'm using Canon's remote control app plugged into my... Um, into my laptop through USB. I've also got a new lens on the camera um, which I, I can't wait to see the results of. It's a 50 millimeter 1.8. It's the cheapest lens that Canon makes. It's like 110 bucks US or Canadian. Um, but one of the videos I had made was about my camera setup and most of the video is not usable. And I've got an affordable tripod. I, I have tried panning with it and stuff and I've just given up. I just stick it there and I stand in front of it because um, yeah, it's not great. It really is. Well, here she is, Canon 7D. Oh, battery's getting a little low. Um, road video mic. So it's got two, uh, two sound settings. Got a windsock on it, which is kind of second rate. I'm gonna be replacing that with a better one. Suggestions are welcome. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I should have pulled that on a bit more. 24 to 105 lens. Again, gonna replace that with a 50 for video. And my very affordable Optex tripod. Um, it's a little beat up because uh, this summer, while climbing up an embankment that was too steep, I had to throw it about 30 feet down to keep from uh, <laughs> tumbling to my demise. So as you can see, my, my setup is pretty basic, um, aside from the new lens. Nothing has really changed. Um, what I'm thinking of maybe doing to help improve my sound is getting, you know, there's a little laugh you can get by road that plugs into your iPod, uh, iPhone, I guess. But I really, really want this year to, to be about improving the, the the picture quality, the editing, and definitely the sound. Um, I've gotten notes from a couple of you guys um, saying you, you quite like the picture quality or the the overall presentation. If I can take that from quite like to really loved, then I'm going to be a happy, happy camper. Because um, I, I take that part really seriously. You know, I really want to make the best show I can show sounds a little ostentatious for, for a YouTube video, but I, I really want to make it as good as I can. So look for things to change a bit um, over this year. As I learn more about the camera and about, you know, the software. You know, every time I do a video, I learn something else about Final Cut Pro. You know, every time I shoot a video, I learn something else about this camera. It's, it's a new camera to me. I, you know, when I started these videos, um, I had been Nikon for 20 years, and this is a Canon. I'm still learning stuff about it. You know, it's a whole new way of inter interacting with your tools when you make that big a change. 
Well, okay, at the end of the day, it's a box that takes in light. So, I mean, so <clears throat> the, the basics don't change. It's just the buttons and stuff and the menus that do. But, uh, so, you know, I hope to hell that this, you know, this little journey I'm on just gets more and more impressive as time goes on. Um, aside from that, I just want to show you something that my dad sent me. Um, he sent me this gouge, which is a Swiss made 7L25, which um, I was going to buy myself, but he had an extra. He, he cleaned up his carving workshop and found extras of this and of this. Boom! Check it out. The blade is by Kestrel. Um, which is a very cool company. The handle is homemade, and my dad was part of a carving group out in Vancouver, and one of the members sort of did a bunch of prototypes, and this is what they came up with. Um, and I played with this while I was at my dad's out in BC. Um, that was the time I shot that video about the Ponderosa Pine. Um, and, you know, my dad was cleaning out his workshop, and he found doubles of both of these, so he sent them on to me. Um, I haven't used them yet because my carving, well, my work area where I do my spoons looks like this. So um, part of the plan for 2014 is to move to a place where I will have a workshop, well, room for a workshop, and the missus will have room to not be always um, knee deep in my workshop. So. You know, that, that's my hopes for 2014. I, again, it's, it's more actually about saying Happy New Year to you guys. You've been great to me. Um, whether as friends, uh, as viewers, or as um, inspiration. So, I really hope that 2014 is great for all of us. And um, with any luck, it will be. Thanks for watching, guys.